Okay, well, I want to welcome everyone to the Caddy New Products training. My name is Eddie Miro. I'm an outside salesman for Thea and Shone. I've been with the company for 36 years. And uh, joining me today is our regional manager, Tom Taylor. Say hello, Tom. Hello, guys. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so today uh, we're going to train on some new products that uh, Caddy has recently introduced or is in the process of introducing. Um, for those of you that are familiar with Caddy fasteners, they basically invented the whole fastener category well over 60 years ago. Um, we tend to come out with enhancements of products that we currently have, uh, a better mousetrap, so to say. So you're going to see some of that today, and then you're going to see some brand new products also. So without further ado, I'm going to uh, open it up to my friend Tom Taylor, let her rip, and let's go through the presentation. Oh, thank you, Ed. I appreciate it. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for getting on the call and allowing me to highlight some of the new solutions that Caddy has to offer. 2020 is going to be a very exciting year for Caddy, and it is the most new products and solution ever introduced with Caddy in one year. During the course of the year, we will have introduced over 20 new, and get this, toolless labor-saving solutions that I hope you will find of interest. But before we begin, let's acknowledge the folks who put this all together, naming Eddie and uh, Stephanie. Without them, we won't have this platform to show some of our new products. So thank you, guys. I appreciate the opportunity. Well, thank you for being here. So let's just jump right into it and allow me to show you the very first one. This is my very first webinar, so any kinks and bumps we'll learn from this experience. This is the brand new TB1624 HD. And as you can see, the HD stands for a telescoping bracket that allows you to mount to either wood or metal from 14 to 25 inches. The bracket comes pre-assembled. The rigid design eliminates the need for any far side support. We used a much heavier gauge steel to give you the rigidity and uh, you know the, the sturdiness that is required and an opportunity or a support bracket like this. That bracket you see is used in conjunction with the TP45P, which will be the next slide. And basically what that does, it mounts directly onto the bracket itself. The innovative design allows for boxes to be added or removed without removing the bracket from the stud. So the outer bigger box stays intact where the interior one, which is the TP45, snaps off and on. And the whole purpose behind it is to give you a universal solution that reduces install cost. The TP45P, it's a mounting plate for mounting four, four and 11 sixteenths and five inch boxes directly onto that assembly. It easily snaps onto that bracket and allows for easy positioning along the bracket width. If you go to the prior slide, you can see how that TP45P slides along the outer bracket itself. The keyhole design provides ease of installation and positive location when mounting boxes. Mounting boxes. And it's compatible with a single gang, double gang, round adjustable mud ring is in both the vertical and horizontal orientations. So our third solution, our third offering in that same product class <coughs> one. It's a TP1624 HD PK. And the PK basically is the same type of bracket, but allows you to go from stud to stud as opposed to ha having to mount it on the TP1624 HD. It could be stud mounted is basically what I'm alluding to. And what they did in this particular case is, oh, I forgot to hit the screen. <laughs> same boxes, four, four, 11, 16 and five inch boxes. Um, innovative far side support allows the bracket to be installed directly onto the stud and it goes from up to a three inch wide stud. What they also did is, I don't know if the picture can depict this, but it allows you to mount on either the left side or the right side of the stud and not changing the orientation of the, of the device itself. Some of the competitors only have a mounting bracket on one side. When you go to the other side of the stud, you have to flip it over to get that correct you know, mounting bracket. It changes the orientation. We've learned from the voice of the contractor to change that, to have a mounting bracket on both sides so the orientation doesn't change. 
The overhead, box, overhead box support, it's built basically around our 512 family of products. The brackets designed to support electrical products installed overhead where structural framing members are used. It's used in a lot of T-grid applications. It supports fans, fixtures, luminaires. It has a fairly good static load rate for a fan is 35 pounds and for a fixture it's 50. It can be used on both wood and metal studs. And the uniqueness here is allowing you to give you the flexibility for exact location to be positioned anywhere on support bracket. And again, that's a heavier gauge. I think that's a 12 gauge uh, metal, which is a fairly heavy duty in, in the spring steel fastener line. It just from 16 to 24 inches with multiple box depths and works with mul multiple framing members, both wood and metal. A lot of guys use that for fans. They use it for sconces. They use it for, you know, um, exit signs. There's a lot of applications for that. This is based upon another unique item. Based upon the voice of the contractor is our spanner bar. Spanner bar is designed to be between in studs to secure either EMT, AC, flexible conduit as a means of first support. The old way they used to do it in between studs is use a TSGB and a one hole strap, which requires five screws. Again, in my opening statement, I mentioned that we are going towards direction of toolless, and this basically fits that mold to a T. <clears throat> Clips can be adjusted to fit various stud spacing from 16 to 24, and it's designed to secure multiple raceways between metal studs. The innovative clip securely attaches to mud in pre-punched holes. It's designed to work with our Caddy K clip. And I think the next slide really shows you how it bites into the, the knockouts on this tracking itself. No tools necessary. And that's the key where a lot of this future projects and future um, uh, items are going to. You can see it's designed the item, the numbering sequence pretty much is indicative of the span length, 16, 24, and basically the clip is designed for threaded rod and plain rod itself. And it just snaps right into the cutouts in the studs. An item that we have a lot of success with, and we're one of the manufacturers that, you know, if you look at the Orbit version, if you look at the Kraus Heinz version, if you look at some of the other manufacturers, they all buy them from the same company called Fraser Oaks. We're one of the manufacturers that don't use that as a, as a source of a vendor relationship. Uh, our adjustable mud rings accommodates various thickness of drywall, and they can be adjusted after the installation of the drywall. They come one gang, two gang, and three gang, and the dry, depending upon the drywall thickness, they go from five eighths to inch and a half. We have the same features and benefits on our protective plates for toggle switches, and we also have them for um, devices, and they're depicted down below. This is fairly new for us, um, realizing that um, we never had a really a, a strong means of securing a lot of our hardware and fasteners into concrete. We aligned ourselves with towers, so now we have a direct fastening uh, solution for shot fire applications. Um, it, it, throughout the catalog, you'll notice that in phase one, which is powder actuated, we designed all our fasteners to be conjunction with the powers uh, shots. Phase two is basically we're going to come out with gas power, but as for right now, it's um, powder actuated. Quickly and easy attaches to concrete steel and composite metal decking again labor savings is the key the shot fire saves time and money on the job site uh, by using shot fire fire allows the contractors to get the job done more quickly and with less work fatigue than traditional methods that's a big thing they're no longer up on that lift as often as they have to be as opposed to drilling in with a drop-in anchor and dropping their threaded rod or whatever the case may be this allows them to get off the job much sooner and we redesigned our pins because in our first go around, um, the way the powers, some of the guns, the Hilti gun and the DeWalt guns wouldn't allow us to have 
as much clearance. So we redesigned the angle of the bracket. So now it's compatible with everybody's gun. Shot fire rods um, quickly and easily attaches to concrete, steel, and composite decking. The integrated pin stalls easily. The integrated pin installs easily into the powder actuated gun. Rods are easy to install out of the box, which is unique. There's no more assembly required. They come right out of the box. Depending if it's smooth rod, it's from 12 to 48 inches. And if it's threaded rod, it's anywhere from 12 to 72 inches. In conjunction with using a bat wing, um, rods are ready to install right out of the box. Like I said, phase one is basically where we're using powder actuated. As you can see, we have an offering for drop rods. We have it for all our snap clips. Um, the middle one, the WMX cable hanger, I sell a lot of that in this version, and it's used for the guys hanging their temporary lighting. It's a cheap, ineffective way. They just leave it up there. They don't even pull it out. It's a cheap, ineffective way of hanging their temporary lighting. Uh, even for our J-hooks, we have a, an offering. And the offering is only going to get greater and better as we go into phase two, which is then going to be gas powered. Right now, as I mentioned, we're only powder actuated, but we're aligning ourselves with another manufacturer um, that is going to take us in the direction of gas power. I mean, gas battery operated. Sorry. And the great thing about that is you can work during normal hours because it greatly reduces noise. And as you can see, some of the applications that. Uh, are depicted on the, the page itself. This is kind of neat. Uh, the panel bracket. The panel bracket was came to us by a contractor. Um, for those who know our prefab offering, when we do our prefab offering, we have quite a few, three different variations of it, but the full engineered solution is where we prefabricate the load centers. The manufacturer or the contractor sends us the cans, sends us the breakers, and we dress everything up. Well, there was always an issue of how to hang that load center. So this is offered not only with our prefabricated offering, but it's for offered to those contractors that don't do prefab. They just want to hang their own, find a simple way to hang their own load centers. So basically what does, this does, it comes in two sections. The upper section mounts directly onto the load center and is a first means of support, which means that you have to support in the picture you see all those little clips, 12 inches coming out of the box itself. The bottom section positions the load center clearly in to the stud wall. Um, the panel bracket attaches to the load center can, makes the load centers between studs easier to stall, saving time and labor. Uh, th this is, you know, we used to only have this offering in our prefab, but now we make it as independent, standalone UPC SKU, code, SKU that contractors can use. If you look at the bottom right where you see that the breakers would go, um, there's these two flanges, two on the top and two on the bottom, that actually align itself up to the studs, and the same with the rivets that go on the top portion. It's a nice feature. I haven't seen it as of yet. It's a brand new product. It's being introduced in May. So you guys are one of the first ones to at least get a, a depiction as to what it's going to look like going forward. Samples, anything I'm going through, anybody need any samples, just get a hold of me, Ed, Stephanie, any of the Thea guys, and we'll be glad to accommodate that request. Uh, be able to use on both wood and metal brackets. And again, as I said, it's a means of first support, which is also uh, critical. As you can see, one's Romex, one's MC. This product's been around for a while, RBS. Um, initially developed in 98. Uh, revolutionary in its design. You guys can read it. But the great thing is we've now come back with an RBS HD. And the HD is just reiterating the fact that we do a heavy gauge steel again. Um, nobody wants to go back and rework when the box moves or the uh, or the device moves. So we thought, you know, going there one time, no rework is the key to get gaining relationship and future business. So again, we used a heavier gauge steel to augment and not make sure that doesn't happen again. Comes in both 16 and 24 inch studs. Um, if you see the Textures, you'll see on the outside tabs markings where you can measure, pre-measure, and uh, hang, your hang your brackets accordingly, guaranteeing there will be a level. Um, increased rigidity, significantly reducing rework expense related to drywall insulation, 
this is an important statement, two times stronger than the current RBS design. So when I hear that, I'm thinking, oh man, there's gotta be a larger differential in Delta in price, same price, maybe a penny or two more. But I assure you, I've had this in my hands many times and shown it to a lot of contractors. They fall in love with it because it's so robust. Um, unique keyhole patterns for easily identifying mounting boxes. The hex is for four inch, the round is for four and 11 sixteenths. It works with both four and four and 11 sixteenths boxes. Uh, works with single gang and double gang adjustable mud rings in a both horizontal and vertical installations. We also have, uh, it can be used with mud rings for string and ring and string, which is, I guess, is a delta uh, 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 voice and data application where an enclosure is not required. As you can see right above that one where it has uh, the little hole. The unique thing about that is it can be done over and over again. The competition, once you would tap that in with the screw, you lose the integrity of the screw head and you won't be able to use it again. Ours, you can take that screw out as many times as you like and not have any uh, lose integrity with anything. The new slider, or, I mean, sorry, the new glider, secures electrical boxes, TDS, GB, without tools or screws. Allows for easy positioning of the electrical box. The old version, you had to have a screw from the box into the TSGB. This one just snaps into the box itself. There's no hardware we needed again. Going under the premise, we want to go toolless and it allows for easy repositioning of electrical boxes. And again, that's, that, that's spring hardware also. So there's a little give into it, a little give with it. That's only a small portion of the products we're coming out with this year. Um, there's quite a few more on the agenda. And again, they're all under the direction of going toolless and labor savings. Um, we do a lot of voice of the contractor. We have a contractor committee that comes in and tells us what they want, much like that panel enhancement we can't, I showed you earlier. That was tool of the con that was voice of the contractor. Um, if you decide to investigate any of this on your own, we do have a brand new web page exclusively designed for electrical fastening solutions. If you would go down to the electrical section where you see it listed, click on that and it will highlight all the products that I mentioned and a few other ones that were mentioned that were introduced in an earlier segment. I don't think it will allow you to go ahead of time um, because they haven't been announced as of yet, but anything that is new current in the last, we'll say nine months will be listed under that. Um, website. So you have access to that. Some of the ones I didn't go into was the uh, the T-bar joist hanger. Um, that's a unique application that I don't really come into all that much. I'm sure it's available. The seismic bracing system. We have a whole time, whole series and a team of electrical uh, seismic um, engineers that all, all, all are professional engineers and they have wet stamp capabilities in all 50 states. Um, we were doing a job with uh, Five star that had to have seismic requirements, and uh, we were able to satisfy that requirement in house. A lot of other manufacturers have to source this out. We have a whole team of uh, seismic engineers in house. So we're expen expanding our capabilities, we're expanding our product depth, and some markets we're going into that we've never been into before. Um, if you desire to learn any more, I mean, picture say, picture say a thousand words. We have a whole series of YouTube channels that go, I mean, they're not only uh, done in-house with our personnel, but we have them done with uh, voice of the contractors. Certain contractors will do it. I have one that I had uh, Lapolis do for our new TSSR 1220, which is our version of how to create a trapeze in less time and labor savings. Um, I had the superintendent put it on for me and he did it and uh, got a lot of acclaim out of it. So. Not only do we have in-house uh, webinars in our YouTube channel, but we also have contractors doing it for us also, all throughout the country, using different products. Um, I went through it kind of fast. It's the first one I ever did. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it's not that uh, um, scientific. It's not that uh, exciting, but 
it pays the bills for me and for some of the FIA folks also. And I'd be glad to take any questions you might have, but just keep in the back of your mind, if any of these samples are needed, I'd be glad to personally bring them when I can. If not, I can gladly send them to you uh, via mail or UPS or whatever the case may be. But so what do you think? You did a great job, number one. And number two, as I mentioned before, you know, a number of these, we have similar type products. These are just better mousetraps. And that right. HP, right? The heavy duty, um, that is yep. definitely the way to go. It's a very, very small premium as far as the price difference. It's really negligible. So um, for those distributors that may be on this call, I would look to convert over your old style inventory over to the new heavy duty style. And, and then I didn't mention also, Abe, but the 512 was another prime example. The 512 HD, it's a yep. minuscule difference in price, but a much better mousetrap. So much anything better. HD, I would strongly recommend reviewing and, and looking into those options. Agreed, 100%. Any questions, guys? I don't see anything there other than outstanding job. Thank you. And, oh, uh, thanks, Abe. You know, as I mentioned, I did a, a, a call, a training uh, prior to lunch, so I'm just going to give everybody my cell number. It's 973-477-9775. In the event that you have any questions, just give me a call. Lord knows I got the time. And one more thing, guys, if I could. Um, Thea has all, Thea is a flocking agent for us, so you know they have ample inventory, and we're always looking to beef up inventory. Um, they, you know, I don't, I don't have to say any more about Thea, but they are a stocking agent. They do an excellent job for Caddy. They've been Caddy's longest. This this has something. This says this goes monumental. They are Caddy's longest tenured agent. So you know how well respected they are in industry with both Caddy and the uh, the industry itself. So they do an excellent job for Caddy. They're well respected. I think Mark Thea is on all the committees in with Caddy. So you have a great resource at your disposal. And Ed, like you said, he's been with Thea 36 years. So when I have questions, I go to him. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Yeah, you know, one more thing, guys. Prefab. Um, you know, I, we are heavily engaged in prefab. Caddy has an excellent offering. I spent 20 years at Beeline, and Beeline had a prefab offering, and obviously Krauss took it over. So I know their product fairly well. Caddy does have a better mousetrap uh, in, the, in the way of not only product, engineering services, engineering support, the engineering drawings. So we have three varying stages of prefab, which is basically just these the box, the bracket, and maybe a pigtail. We call that all-in-one quick ship. The next, uh, I guess, offering would be more on the lines of that with a device. And obviously our third one, which we do really well with in the New York Jersey market is our full engineered solution, where we call it a room in a box. Um, everything comes together. You, you know, you take it out of the box and it's ready to be hung. Um, we do prefabricated load centers where the contractor obviously secures the, the cans and the load centers and the breakers, sends them down to us, we prefabricate them together, sending them back. And I can tell you of all the jobs that Eddie and I and the Thea guys have put together, there are more and more contractors going to full engineered solutions with prefabricated load centers because it takes the thought out of everything. We have stickers that go on the studs. Oh, here's number one, you have a foreman laid out, right? Read a set of drawings, picks the stickers out of the box, puts it on the wall, you have an apprentice come along, take it out of the box, oh, there's sticker number one on the stud, here's, a, here's, um, here's uh, apparatus number one, lays it on the floor. So there's a whole procedure that we can show them that how to save time, labor, and money. And with, with the, the economy the way it is and skill force labor being the way it is, we've gotten inundated with opportunities. So just keep that in mind. If an opportunity comes along, reach out to the Thea guys because they have a good story to tell when it comes to prefab. That's it for me, guys. Outstanding keep job. Thank you again. On, keep an eye on our website for uh, more uh, upcoming trainings on various topics. So thank you, everybody, for attending. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time.